telling my followers we started a live video and then I do this and then I do this and then I do this and then I do that. Hello! <laughs> Hi guys! Oh my gosh! It's happening where this is happening. Yes, Bethany! Hi! Hey. <laughs> Oh no! All right, good to see everybody. I didn't count on our friends watching this yeah. too. <laughs> Hi, Matt. I love you. I saw you Sydney. Hi, Sid. Oh gosh. Oh boy. This is gonna. This is gonna be great. Hi. Hello, everyone. Oh, I see what that is. All right. You're Emery from the Fosters. Thank you very much for watching. Hi. Hello. Hi. What does this do? Oh. I can read the questions from here. Yeah. That's like it. Good. Wait, what? I love and miss you too, Matthew. How do we get into the acting business? Oh, good. There are questions and everything, y'all. What's up? All right. Should I we... mean, do you want me to just get started? Let's, I should just get uh, started. We I... have questions that we are reading, but please ask any more. How are we? Uh, I'm Nick Torres. I'm Ashley Arcota. And we, we are Mismo. How's our quarantine going? Somebody just asked. Quarantine has been good. It's really nice to be in quarantine with somebody you love. It's, uh, we feel pretty lucky. Yeah. All things considered. Yeah. We're doing great. I hope you guys are doing great too. What's up from Torrance? Where? How do you say that? Azerbaijan? I'm sorry Hello. if I got that wrong. Very sorry if I got that wrong. Hi. Uh, yeah, we're being safe. Yes, we are being very safe. This is what? It's our second month of quarantine? I quarantined yeah. the second I got back home from Nashville from, from filming I Hate New Year's. So, what's up, Jamaica? Detroit? What's up? Hey, everyone. All right, let's get started yeah. with the question. You, want, like, you pick first. Well, somebody just asked, how did you get into the acting business? And one of the other questions we had was basically, mm -hmm. how did you get started? Or what advice would you give to someone who's thinking about getting started? Mm -hmm. You want to go first? You want me to go first? You start. You, I got start, you started <laughs> earlier in life. <laughs> um, uh, I started acting when I was five because my I apparently used to speak in weird accents. And my mom was like, you'd be a good actor. And she put me in the classes. And then I loved it. And then I never stopped and that's how I got into the business. I knew I loved it though when my audition for True Jackson was supposed to be my last audition and I cried the entire day because I was so devastated about it and I was like oh I actually love this never mind <laughs> so now I'm doing it forever. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I played sports growing up and then I had a serious injury. I had done some acting earlier I took a, like an acting class my freshman year of high school just because you had to take an art class and I didn't think I was a very good painter so I tried performing arts uh, and then during my injury that was my junior year of high school I started taking acting more seriously I got really into the plays at school and went full out for it and I auditioned uh, for a bunch of theater schools and I chose to go to USC and, and now I'm pursuing it professionally <laughs> Uh, hey from the Bay. Hi, hi, Mom. I saw you said hello earlier. Oh, hi, Linda. Yeah. Um, somebody asked how long we've been together. Uh, oh, yeah. Two and a half years. Two and a half years. We, re we met at Rockwell Table on Stage. We did. Somebody just asked who my best friend was out of everyone in True Jackson. Um, I was close to everyone, but I think I was closest to Matt Shively, uh, and I still keep in touch with him to this day. He's one of our first guests on Mismo, and he lives pretty much exactly a mile from where we live. Yeah, we are lucky we get to see him a decent amount. And yeah, go back and listen to the Matt Shively episode. We had a really good talk with him. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked, how do you get an audition? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Um, Mainly with us through our agent. If you don't have an agent or a manager, there's like LA Casting, Actors Access, Breakdown Services, things you can do online. If anybody says you have to pay for an audition, that's a lie. No, you don't. That is untrue. Do not do it. It's a scam. Mm -hmm. If an agent comes up to you and says that you pay them up front, that is also a scam. Don't do it. Agents and managers should get a percentage and they Definitely. should only get paid when you get paid. Yeah. Next question? Let's, let's get another one. 
Um, somebody just d did this while you were talking, which is what I swear to you I was listening, and I also know your story. Okay. But uh, somebody said, how do you deal with stress and anxiety? Mm. I thought that was a good one. Yoga. Yoga for sure. Um, if you listen to the podcast, you probably know I'm a, a certified yoga instructor. I do that with some of my clients, and I do that... For myself, we like to do yoga together sometimes. In quarantine, we've been doing yoga. We have a rooftop in our building, and we have gone up there to do yoga outside in the sun. It's been beautiful. We go on hikes a lot to deal with some stress and anxiety. Just being active helps a lot. Yeah. Uh, if you're feeling stressed and anxious, I, I think move away from the environment you're in because your mind will get on a track. Right, you could have one thought that's a negative thought, and that if you just kind of sit and stew in it, that thought will build up and build up. Um, and if you're having trouble being mindful about that thought and knowing what to do with it, just simply going to another part of the house or going outside or moving your body usually will, you know, you change where you are, you can change your perspective. Yes. Also, if you can do it, uh, best way to do it is do an inversion. Like if you can do a headstand or a handstand. Um, I say, if you go upside down, you can turn your day around. He has taught me sort of, he was like teaching me how to do a handstand. It's very scary, everybody. Um, baseball questions. <laughs> we love baseball. We love Should baseball. We? Yes. I'll show you guys. Do you guys want to see the office? This is part of our office. Yeah. Okay. Baseballs. We, we... I know. <laughs> we have so many. Okay. Baseballs. Uh, if you watched our MJ parody that we just released, there's the jersey, the balls, the shoes. Kill me! God. Mm. Giants. Yes. Do I miss playing Taylor in Lab Rats? Yes, I do, actually. That was a fun show because I got to do stunts. Yeah, you showed me some behind-the-scenes videos where they... What is that? Where they pulled you, like there was an explosion and then you get pulled back quickly? Yes. Somebody... It's like a bolt of, of electricity out of their hands, and I had to, like... <laughs> right. So they put me in a harness for it. Yeah. That was cool, y'all. Hi! From my head to my toes, it's so real, and you know. <laughs> for anybody who just asked me to finish <laughs> that song. <laughs> Rash and cool. Oh. Did I enjoy working on the Fosters? I did. I surely did. How do you know which acting schools to trust? That's a great question. Really good question. Uh, I've been to several, including you know school, but then after that, tried a bunch of different studios. I think you just have to go go in and give it a try. Um, some schools, it's not necessarily a scam if they won't let you sit in on a class. I, w one of my favorite schools said, "No, you're not allowed to do that. You can meet with the teacher, but they don't let you sit in on the class because it's like a private." environment they don't they don't want that but a lot of schools will let you just sit in and audit one class i'd say do that if you if you have a list of five or six you want to try out uh for me i went to a place called gary spatz's the playground and i took classes from a woman named gayla gale and i still go to her she private coaches me she's the person who told me about my audition for true jackson she's got my back i think she's incredible they've coached so 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 many like disney nickelodeon kids um, people who've started movies, they're really, really incredible. Um, and I work with them a ton. So, um, it really is just what works for you, right? It, you kind of have to, with acting classes, I feel like you kind of have to feel around. Cause I went to an acting class for years when I was little and I, I didn't find the joy in acting. I just felt like it was this really stressful chore that I had to do all the time. But then when I found the playground, I felt like it was, it was a more fun thing. My voice is nice. Thank you very much. Favorite True Jackson episode? Uh, that's really hard because there are 64, 60, six, something like that. There's a lot of them, but we've been rewatching the show so he can see all the episodes and his family has been watching it. Hello, everybody. Uh, and I've been reminded of some episodes that I forgot and that I actually really loved. We just watched when, um, oh man, what, you know, Parrish's episode. Yeah, that the episode. bodyguard. Yeah, she where she's the bodyguard. bodyguard. I loved that episode. I liked the chess episode with Andy Richter. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
weird when he knows the episodes. Bucket, Bucket and Skinner. Bucket and Skinner. Uh, wow. I loved the episode where I was singing and snorting at the same time. You don't know that episode exists. I like the, but now you do. the prom dress episode. Oh, yeah. That was the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. Girl Meets World was fun. I know somebody, I, that question just scrolled by for me, but Girl Meets World, or yeah, Girl Meets World was a ton of fun. So many people on that show behind the scenes worked on Boy Meets World, and um, the guy who played Sean Hunter came to, to visit the set, <laughs> and then Ben and him were talking, and it was Corey and Sean, and it freaked me out, and wow. it was the coolest thing that has possibly ever happened to me. Um, okay, I'm going to be We have a plethora. And please keep asking. These are great. Thank you so much for your lovely and awesome questions. What do you feel, uh, what do you do when you feel like you're not improving or you feel like you're not as good as everyone? <sighs> yeah, that's a tough one. I'd start with trying to not compare yourself too much to everybody. Uh, what's your favorite show Mick has done and what's your favorite show Ashley has done? Mick did a production of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest where he played R.P. McMurphy, which is who Jack Nicholson played in the movie, if you've ever seen it. It's an amazing movie and it was an immersive show and Mick was incredible and I saw it, this is not a joke, I saw it 14 times. You did. One four. Mm -hmm. And I was doing Clueless at the time, so anytime I wasn't performing in Clueless on the weekends, I was at his show. Anyway. I'd probably say Spitfire Grill. Uh, wow! It was the best theater I've seen you do. I love all the Rockwell stuff that I've seen her do. Two uh, seconds. What's up, Mark Hell? Yes! Hey. Hi. Go on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of Clueless. And then I'm really excited for uh, the movie that you just shot that's coming out around the holidays. Yes. Yeah. I like uh, I liked um, cover versions, that movie you did two years <laughs> ago. That was a fun one. Yeah, I like yeah, that yeah. one. Uh, someone asked who is my best friend out of all my co-stars in Bucket and Skinner. Out of Bucket and Skinner, I'd probably keep in touch with Dylan a little bit more. But as for best friends, I'm going to go ahead and say... Um, <laughs> Hi, Kristen. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, Ben Giroux, who oh, yeah. plays the toddler in Henry Danger, but he guest starred on Bucket and Skinner. He was like our first guest star ever on the show. And then we ended up doing a production of Aladdin together. He's been on our podcast. Ben and I have stayed friends for a very, very, very long time. He directed the Hocus Pocus music video I did with Garrett Clayton and Desi Dan Stillen. You just did so, a show with him back in December? I just did a show with him back in December. Like, we worked together yeah, and we talk. Yeah, we talked to each other all the time. So I think Ben Drew. Oh my God, my hair is, like, doing all the things today. Ooh. Hmm. Your hair is beautiful. Thank you. So here. Do you, uh, do you really have to move to L.A. to become a big-time actress or actor? It's... You don't have to. A lot of it is um based in la and new york so it's a little bit easier but i'd say i mean so many things are popping up in canada in chicago in nashville where we shot i hate new year's um in atlanta places like that in florida so it's definitely not the end all be all if you're not here uh but it does make it a little bit easier i think just because it's we're it's like this is the hub you know yeah, I would say it depends what you mean by big time actor because there's, you could be big time in improv in Chicago or theater uh, in London. In London! <laughs> Sorry, it's just a constant thing. Someone just asked, um, is it hard getting into theater in LA? Is it? Yeah, yeah, I've had friends ask me how to get started and they have a really hard time. It does seem like the kind of thing where you have to just be in it to get more work, but that's true of basically every every part of this field. Yeah. Is there a thing where that doesn't apply? That Getting started in any part of this is the hardest part. And once you get going and you've proven yourself a little bit, you, you can usually keep going. Yeah. Will we ever participate in a production together at the Rockwell? We'll see what Rockwell is like after, after uh, we come back to normal. But yeah. <laughs> We would love to. Are you kidding me? That's that. Uh, that that yeah. would be fun. Yeah, for sure. 
I think it'd be, I mean... What's your favorite Jack Nicholson movie? Uh, yeah. I think it's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's, Cuckoo's Nest. Nest. I also love Departed. Hi, Scott Porter, who said, you don't have to start in L.A., but it will force you there in the middle of your career, and then you fight to leave <laughs> L.A. again. <laughs> That's true. Yep. If you become big time, wherever you start, you might have to come here. This is true. Also, hi, Scott. Good to see you, Scott. How's it going? <laughs> I hope you guys are doing so great. Yes. Oh, my, I'm, so, I'm like scrolling back in the comments. Yes, I would love to do something soon. That would be great, I miss Scott. you very, very, very much. Yeah. Shall we answer another question? Yes. Here, I, I closed you the book. You lost the page, Mick. Man the questions while I look. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I found them. Okay, very good. Very good. What do we got? Oh, boy. Oh, well, this is a little bit different than what we said before. Somebody asked, how do you get started? Somebody here asked, uh, how did you first get into the business? And how did you get your first gigs? I think that's a little bit different than how do you start acting. Yeah. That's more of a business question. So uh, how did you get your first significant gig? My first gig ever was a Jungle Book 2 commercial in <laughs> which I apparently was like an all day audition kind of thing. And they were basically interviewing a bunch of kids. And I, the callback, which was later in the day, we'd been there for so long that legend has it. I sat on the stool in front of the microphone to do the interview and I fell asleep and fell off the stool. And that's how I got my first gig. You booked it. I booked it. It was just too cute. She's very cute yeah. when she sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I got started. And it was because my mom put me in the classes and there was like a, a showcase kind of thing that they did and agents came to that. I got an agent. That's what they sent me out for. And that's what I ended up getting. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I did... The first like thing that's popping up is when I lived in Utah, I did a runway modeling gig. I'm so oh, yeah. I, is there what? I modeled uh, wedding tuxedos. That's uh, ironic. Because I was... 17 so that's the right age in utah uh any movie or tv show recommendations we started started succession last night you guys and then we had to wash it down with veep after because that's too intense to go to bed right after that. i was not i mean don't get me wrong brilliant show but it was so heavy and so like it was so screwed up that i was like i need to watch something funny because i can't breathe <laughs> but it was amazing so yeah. veep and succession are the two that we're watching right now we also had a ton of questions and i have missed all of them how hot has it been in la recently it's getting there it's like 90 today we're not hitting it we're not we're not in the heat of it but it's getting there it's not nice the on the rooftop <laughs> not in the heat of it really uh how was it writing hope is in you really 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 incredible uh we skyped with iris me and my co-writer Rebecca White and we basically asked Iris what she wanted her song to be about and she said hope and we wrote the song in about 20 minutes after that um and then she she heard the finished version of the song the like the finished song but she passed away before she could see the music video and hear it all produced and all that stuff so Right after she passed, we did the music video, we finished the song, and on Mother's Day, um, for her amazing mom, Deb, we released the music video. And if you'd like to hear the song, all the proceeds go to uh, fund research for the kind of cancer that Iris had. Thank you for asking about Hope is in You. I love, I've, it's probably one of my favorite songs I've ever done. Um, that family is really great, too. I, I got to meet them about a year ago. They're amazing. Yeah. Uh, we are Mismo live panel discussion after the chaos dies down next year. We were just talking about that. Yeah. Were you in our kitchen when <laughs> we said that? What do you think? Ago? If we rented out a theater, would people want to come watch Mismo live? This is really fun just right now. But it would, I know it'd be great to be in the same room as everybody. It's hot. I'm taking this off. <laughs> so to answer that, is it hot now? Like question? Yes. Yes. First musical I ever saw. <laughs> Good answer. Yikes! That's a great question. The first one I remember seeing is The Lion King. Which you were in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I saw musicals before this, but the first Broadway one that I'm really remembering right now is Jersey Boys. 
Nice. Oh, that's a great one to see. That was great. The first, the first one I can remember seeing that I was not watching because I had to study was Hairspray. Hope you're watching, Marissa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> am I working on any original music? I have. Hi, Asa. First of all, and I, yeah, I have. Um, I have demos of like 30 songs that have been written that I love and that I want to produce and release and here's hoping I get to release that soon. Hi. Hi. Are you ever, ever going, going to play, play in shows or movies again? I do yeah. them all the time. Check out I Hate New Year's coming to you this holiday season. Yeah. Uh, have I ever been pied in the face? No, but I've been slimed. So is that the same thing? Yeah. What kind of wedding would you want? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, a wedding with you. A backyard wedding. Backyard wedding. Sounds nice. I think we should do that. Okay, let's do that. What was it like competing on Brain Surgeon Figure It Out? Messy. I don't think... I think that's too the thing. Oh, no, you saw Brain Surge. After Matt Shive was... Yeah, Shive yeah, yeah. Episode, I showed you Brain Surge. Mm -hmm. It was really, it was so fun, but it's so messy. So I have and his also, brain surge story that he told on his episode. Hysterical. Really funny. Brain surge was hard. Like, I don't want you guys to think that they just, like, threw stuff, you know, they just, like, gave us answers to things. They didn't. Like, that show was truly very, very, very difficult. It's also the difference of, like, the pressure, because if, when you're just watching a show, right, you know the answer to a trivia show, but then that. How, yeah. how was the pressure like in the moment trying to answer quickly? It was terrible. I bet. It's terrifying. Yeah. And then, oh man, those questions were hard. And then the end where you have to like do the the pattern on the floor. Right. Because you can see it and go, okay, cool. And then yeah. like repeat it. And you're like, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Um, you still have your Irish shirt. Thank you, Hitomi. Hi. Oh my gosh. Yes, they'd attend the show. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Netherlands. Oh my gosh. Hi, hi, uh, hi, everybody. I'm sorry, I'm going back and, and figuring out these questions. Out of my Disney or Nick roles, what was my favorite, most challenging, and funniest? Mm. Mm -hmm. My favorite was Lulu. My most challenging... Wow. I'm going to say Girl Meets World because we took a lot of... Uh, we took a lot of time to make sure that it was grounded and real like there was there was a lot of like work that went into that and the funniest role that I played I think might have been Nevea. she mm. was crazy <laughs> <laughs> heaven spelled backwards <laughs> what does getting slimed feel like mm. cold <laughs> mostly cold like it's fun when it happens and then you the shower after <laughs> getting out of your it's hair. It's fun when it happens and then you're just finding like green. I imagine it's what playing alphabet feels like. Like you just find green everywhere oh, afterwards, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Not uh, I I don't know. Um Paul, I also can't check your text, so if you want to can if you could um Paul text me. Yeah, Paul, or text text the boy cuz I can't I can't pull your text up anymore if you went away. <laughs> Hi, hello. How's Matt Shively? I think he's great. I talked to him last night. Uh, hi, 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 hi. Let's get another question from here. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, do you have fun playing villain roles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they might be my favorite. Honestly. You've gotten to do quite a few of them, especially on TV lately. Thank you. Have you played any villainous roles? Nick Murphy wasn't a villain. He's not the he's the anti-hero. Yeah. Which is really fun. Because yeah. he's a little dark. He messes everything up. I'd love to play more villains. Yeah, I to be honest, they're the most fun thing, because I like to think I'm not a villain in real life. So no, getting you, to play them. No, no, no. <laughs> getting to play them is pretty cool. Are there any bloopers from True Jackson out there that you haven't seen? That I haven't seen? I don't think so. I know there are bloopers you guys haven't seen because there's season two bloopers. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was in Lab Rats. Uh, <laughs> okay, we've got a couple more. Another, yeah. Yeah. So why are side jobs frowned upon 
instead of being viewed as survival and different ways to opening acting doors. Who asked that? Linda Torres. Hey, mom. Uh, um, well, Just before you answer that, yeah. I have the best in-laws actually ever. Yeah. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Go on. <laughs> um, well, do you have a thought on this? I think it's viewed... I think it's frowned upon because people... This is so crazy, but like I feel like people equate it with with failure, as mm -hmm. uh, like that you failed at being an actor. If that makes any sense, um, and I think it's, it's not. hard after you've done acting work to take a side job. Right. Um, since I'm not recognized from film, TV, or anything at this point, people, I don't know. It's it's maybe less embarrassing, um, but for me, my side job, it took me a while. I used to be really embarrassed about being a trainer because it was like, I'm not supporting myself fully from being an actor, but you know, the, the full actor lifestyle is really, um, unstable, uncertain. Going back to that person who asked, should I get into acting or not? Just know that it's a really unstable lifestyle. So if you're somebody who likes stability and structure to your, to your days, to your weeks, which I do, um, it's nice. And I don't know, shouldn't yeah. I don't think it should be frowned upon at all. I think it, it's a good thing and also a necessary thing. Favorite Xbox game, <laughs> NBA 2K. <laughs> NBA 2K all of the time. Like, you guys, there's so much 2K that happens here. Yeah. Um, and then what do you think, uh, what do you think it's like for parents of actors at all levels of their success? I think it's hard. Well, it's that un unstable, uncertain thing where, you know, a lot of parents would like to see their kids have the easiest lifestyle. Yeah. And you got to know that choosing this is not, you know, you didn't choose this because it's going to be easy. If you, if you know what you're getting into, you that's not why you love it. Because you love it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's really hard, especially in the beginning for parents, because you see, you know, as your kid goes out to auditions and stuff like that, you get told no all of the time. And I know for my mom, it was really hard for her to watch me get told no to like come really close to roles on Disney or Nickelodeon or like big movies and big TV shows. And then they'd be like, ah, she's just a little too short for it. Sorry. And it's just little silly things like that. Uh, so I know it was really tough for her, which is part of the reason she said true was going to be my last audition. And I think maybe I feel like for actors who become really really successful i think at that point the parent can kind of like take a step back and be like oh thank goodness all of our hard work and that in the beginning was was totally worth it but you know especially in the beginning it's really really tough <laughs> for a while but you know shout out to all the parents who support their kids because i i know it's tough and um we have we've been very blessed with some really incredible parents so yeah you sound like all the people telling me not to be a lawyer because it's not a stable lifestyle at all, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Not to be a lawyer? What? Oh, wow. that That's one of the ones my parents thought would, would be stable. Any advice for an audition? For auditions? Um, be prepared. Be prepared. That's a good one. Also, uh, breathe. I find I, I don't when I'm auditioning. And also... Um, Here's a really simple one. Get there 20 minutes early. Don't, don't be on time because if you give yourself that extra time to breathe in the car, to you, you have enough stress going into an audition. So the stress of looking for a parking spot or, you know, coming in frantic energy and saying there was traffic, that's just going to hurt you. So do yourself a favor and be early enough that you're not stressed at all. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. I keep seeing a uh, favorite Robin Williams movie, Good Will Hunting. There you go. Just because that, that keeps getting asked. Aladdin. Okay. Uh, favorite go-to song? Anything Beyonce? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of Beyonce in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Broadway World wrote an article when I was doing Spitfire Grill, and, and the oh, headline yeah. of it was that I had Beyonce-esque vocals. It was... 
the best compliment for you. I've <laughs> never been happier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was big. That was a big job. Was it hard for you to get an agent? Um, y- I'm going to be very honest. Because I started so young, I, I hardly remember how I got my agent. I just know yeah. that there was a, a showcase and then I had an agent hi dimitri thank you will you please ask paul to text or to text him the question please i can't find his question hey dimitri <laughs> so yeah finding an agent yeah yeah i mean no it's not that hard but i think finding the right agent is pretty hard um that's fair Jesus yeah Christ. paul okay I miss you. All right. Um, and I can't wait to play to get your ride with you. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Favorite lab rats fight? Uh, my first one with Callie Berglund, the, the super speed fight. It was really hard to learn, but it was so much fun. Too much fun. I had too much fun on lab rats. I really did. That's good. You love that show. I really did. I mean, stunts, yo. Yeah? Oh, fun. Brian, hierography. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right. Look <laughs> what you've done, Brian. <laughs> Marvel or DC? Both. I say this because Marvel, of course, but also One Roman's DC. So. Yeah. And you cannot see this, but behind us right now, or behind the camera right now, is a limited edition Wonder Woman painting that Brian Carpenter got for my birthday, for my 25th birthday. And I'll keep it forever because I love it. What's it like to be Ashley Argoda? Someone just asked. So great. Was that for me? (laughs) I'm sorry, that must have been for you. Um, (laughs) Um, And I love Iron Man. So Marvel, Marvel as well. Yeah. Um, (laughs) It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Cool being Ashley. Okay. It's, uh, yeah. It's cool. <laughs> it's not That's not good. cool. That's good. No. I don't think. No, it's really cool. I have a great life. I get to hang out with this guy. You know. We have a good life. Um, <laughs> any, uh, we'll wrap up in a little bit here. Any, any last few questions before we get off? Do I miss True Jackson? Of course I miss True Jackson. I would do anything to do it again. Um... <laughs> that's my favorite superhero movie wonder woman yeah um wonder woman yeah iron man one well, that's a good one i know was, i mean it launched the whole thing if that one wasn't good yeah marvel wouldn't have been as successful as it has been it's been unbelievable yeah so that was really him, him in that cave i mean building that you know because I have a little bit of uh, metal in my heart as well, so I could relate to that whole, like, building the device thing. How long have you been together? Two and a half years. We met at a show. Ashley was doing a show at Rockwell Table and Stage, and uh, <laughs> I didn't ask her out that after that show. No. I just, said, I just like, said hi. No. I said uh, her show was good. And Rented I in speeches, y'all. Yeah, you did. You really <laughs> With did. With the hierography. Yeah. Brian agrees. He knows. If we could guest star on one of your favorite shows, which and why, and who would you want to play? Oh, good question. I wish Scandal was still on the air. I would do anything. Mm. However, because that's not on the air, Grey's Anatomy. Very close second. Not even second. I love Grey's Anatomy. That's great. Yeah. What about you? Um... Yeah, it would have been fun to be on Silicon Valley uh, or Crashing. I love those shows. Yes. That would have been really fun. Um, I'm enjoying Succession right now. I would yeah. I would totally do something on Succession. Somebody asked if I'm actually bionic or if it was special effects to make it look like I was bionic. Actually bionic. I'm actually bionic. <laughs> anyway, what do we miss about the pre-quarantine period? Live theater, we were just saying yeah. that. Uh, we used to go to pretty much one show, one or two shows a weekend, except when we're in a show, then, you know, you're living in the theater. But, uh, yeah. yeah, live theater. And I don't, that's going to be tough. When is that mm-hmm. going to come back? Yeah. And what will that be like? I know some other countries are starting to do social distance theater, right? Yeah, and I saw a photo of it, and it 
looked very odd. It looked very odd. And yeah, I definitely miss theater a lot. Yeah. Um, that's honestly, I mean, we stay home most of the time. It was dinners and yeah. theater. That's really all we did. Yeah. But, you know. We love going to sporting events. We love live comedy. You guys, I'm These are all, you know, big groups of people. So yes. that kind of stuff. I don't know when that'll come back. I miss basketball too much. Have you been on Dancing with the Stars? And if not, would you be tempted? Yes, I would. I was a... Um, <laughs> This question was probably for Ashley, but I was a competitive waltzer in middle school and high school, and I would love to do it on a, on a bigger scale. Fun fact, our second date was ballroom dancing, because I dropped on the first date. He told me about the competitive waltzing, and I was like, I've always wanted to go ballroom dancing. I've just never gone. So he calls me the next day, or he texts me the next day, and he was like, I booked us a private lesson at a ballroom dancing studio down the street from your house if, uh, if you're interested in going next week. So we went the next week, and he dropped me off at home afterwards and danced with me in an empty street, and that's when we had our first kiss. Do you see how many hearts that got? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, dancing is a great date. It's just oh, and the question was for both. Time-tested. Okay, good. How about you? What did you do Dancing with the Stars? In a heartbeat. Yeah. In a heartbeat. I'd love to. Yeah. I've, I've always... I've always been like such a fan of the show, so I would love to. Your, your parents went ballroom dancing too! Yay! It's it a was cute fun. way to start. It was yeah. fun. I was very intimidated. He's very good. We uh, we've just barely started rehearsing our first dance at the wedding. Yes. Mm. What's your favorite Disney show? Uh, do I have to say something you were? No. <laughs> I'll go first, weirdo. Lizzie McGuire. Boy Meets World. Oh, yeah. Also a good one. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, karate or martial arts? I was a yellow belt. Does I that did, count for I, anything? I was. What's the third one? Is it orange, orange. and then yellow? The orange? I was yellow. I was is, orange belt. Yellow is right after a white belt because yeah. that's what I ended up doing. A lot of trainers do uh, martial arts. Uh, I'm, I might pick it back up again because I love yoga and they're not dissimilar. You like my song, Dreams Come True? <laughs> Thank you! Oh my god! Long time fan! Thanks! That <laughs> song is- I did that song when I was 13, just for context for everybody. It's been a while since that song. We just listened to- I've done probably three or four versions of that song, and we just listened to another version of it the other day. We did like a nice ballad version of it. Yeah. Which I think is my favorite yeah, version. Yeah, I heard that. Your favorite show is Wizards. Favorite Saturday morning cartoon, Spongebob Squarepants. <laughs> always. Yeah, can't beat it. It was always Spongebob. Can't I still, it. when I was in Laguna, was it this past time? I downloaded a bunch of episodes of Spongebob onto my iPad and I, that's what I would watch. I love Spongebob so much. If they brought back Lab Rats, I, of course I would do it. <laughs> What's your favorite childhood memory? Oh, favorite childhood memory? Uh, one that I don't actually remember, but I remember from photos, is I met Mickey Mantle, my namesake, when I was about two. Uh, other than that, it was Christmases with my, with my Nana and Papa, my grandparents. Christmas is always really big in our family. And, and Camp Auntie? Camp Auntie. Mm-hmm. I just gave you guys a talk. It's all three. family. It's all family <laughs> stuff. How about you? And then we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up after this question. Uh, I think my favorite... This is such a silly one. Uh, learning how to ride a bike was my oh. favorite one, but I also didn't learn how to ride a bike till I was 13 without my training wheels. It was very scary. Yeah. I'm fine. I can ride a, I can ride one now, just for the record. I'm going to stop talking. All right. 1984 Karate Kid for, for you. And uh, I saw mom ask, this was so fun. Will you do it again? Yeah. Yeah, let's do this again. Do uh, you guys want us to do this again? This was fun for us. As long as this was fun for you guys. Really we totally fun. Do this again. Love doing it on Instagram. And yeah, we would love to do this in a theater when that is doable again. We'll do a live Me Some episode. Awesome. How was filming with Kelly on How to Build a Better Boy? Awesome. It was great. We loved filming How to Build a Better Boy. We were in Toronto for like six or seven weeks or something like that all together. And it was 
too much fun. We had a great time. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. These are such great questions. You guys stay safe during quarantine. I promise you we'll do this more. I think this is the first time I've ever gone live on my page, but I promise I'll do this more. Now that I know you guys like it and are enjoying it, maybe I'll do this, you know, cool. more than once in my whole life. Okay, good. Uh, All right, thank you, guys. everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching.